In this video, we're going to look at how to name output files using data fields with the AutoMail Merge plugin for Adobe Acrobat. We'll generate multiple W2 forms from a template and name them automatically using data from a spreadsheet. Begin by preparing required data in a spreadsheet file and a template PDF form using the Prepare Form tool in Adobe Acrobat. In this tutorial, we'll use the first and last name fields to name the output files. The additional data will also be used to autofill the text fields placed in the PDF W2 document. Let's look at how to configure the mail merge. With the PDF form template open in Acrobat, click Plugins, then Mail Merge. If necessary, click Clear Current Settings to remove previous mail merge configurations. Click Edit Settings. Specify the data source by clicking Browse. Select the file type from the list and follow the dialog to open the spreadsheet. To demonstrate the mail merge process, we will map the PDF form fields to their corresponding data fields. Do this using the Guess Mapping button. Map remaining fields manually by double clicking on them. Once this is done, click Next to proceed. On the Output Options screen, click Browse to specify the output location for completed forms. Ensure that the Save Each Copy of the Filled Form as a separate PDF document option is checked. At the bottom, use the File Naming section to specify how output files will be named. These three fields determine the format for generating output names. Optionally, select nothing for a custom format containing no default factor. The data fields within brackets will also fill using relevant data from the spreadsheet. Here are a few examples that show how modifying these settings changes the output file names, such as using the last and then first name with nothing specified in between, having both names before the file name, or after the file name or something more complex, like manually entering some text placed before both the last and first name. In this example, we will select form file name with last name and first name entered before it. We'll then append the file name with some manually entered text. Once your format is chosen, click Next to proceed to the final screen, then click Finish. Check the setting summary, then click OK. Now press the Run Mail Merge button. After processing, a dialog box will report the operation's success. By default, clicking OK opens the output folder. Examine the output file names. These will reflect the previously specified settings. Visit evermap.com for further product resources.